started. Hi, Michelle. Okay, hello. This morning you confirmed Romeo Lavia as a Chelsea player. Yes. Just why did you decide to sign him? I think uh, we all know him, his quality, uh, his profile. I think he's uh, a perfect uh, player for, for this project. I think uh, we are excited and we are so happy to add him in the squad. And Moises Caicedo confirmed earlier on this week, why did the club fight so hard to try and make sure you could sign him? Why was so hard? Why, why did you work so hard to, to, to get him over the line and make sure he was a Chelsea player? Oh, of course, the club it was really, really hard about that. I think it's about to congratulate the owners and the sporting director, Lauren Sample, because uh, the show was amazing. Um, to add this type of player like Moy or Romeo now and all the previous signing, I think it was a fantastic work from, from the club. And I think we need to congratulate the, the show that they, are, they were doing and are doing, uh, owners and, and sporting director, because it was, was fantastic this type of player that uh, with the quality that they have to add in, in this squad and in this project. Uh, I think it's, a, it's an amazing scene and it's a very exciting um, uh, moment and situation for, for the club. Now there's some bad news. Rhys James picked up an injury in training this week. What can you tell us about the injury? How big a blow is that and how long could he be out for now? Yes, I think it's, uh, it's a sad moment because uh, he's our captain and he was so exciting to be a captain and he was, you know, uh, full energy. Um, and yes, but I think we are going to assess uh, him day by day and it's going to be, for sure, as soon as possible, we're going to be again with the team and for sure he's going to be strong and become stronger than he was because we are, all the, with the all the structure of the club, we are going to help uh, him to become stronger uh, than before. Yesterday, Michael Elise signed a new contract with Crystal Palace. Are you surprised he turned down the opportunity to join Chelsea? And with Christopher and Kunku out, you mentioned last week you'll look at solutions. Are you still looking for potential options in that forward area? I am. Um, we are working, of course, uh, seeing all the the option that we can manage on the on the market. Um, I think all the clubs are doing the same than us, um, and then. Um, see the potential that we can you know transform in, re in reality on this target but uh, I think in the same time we are uh, keeping you know one or two eyes in Armando Brocha because I think um, we cannot forget him and we cannot stop him and to bring some profile of player that can stop in his evolution and we really believe in him he's a uh, we know very well him and can be a really important striker for Chelsea and 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 and, and, and we need to to be be careful. I think he's a big uh, disappointed with the with the with the situation of Christophe because it should be a very important player for us, helping uh, Nico Jackson to to score goals. Um, yeah, but that is that is football, and we need to accept that situation. But at the same time, we cannot sometimes, you know, uh, go for some player that maybe after a stop, a player that we have, maybe we need to be patient and to try to adapt our squad, to try to get result, positive result, uh, waiting for, for Armando to be fully fit. Final question from me, Richard. Robert Sanchez took the number one shirt yesterday. Will you be looking to sign somebody to compete with him? Or do you see Robert being your number one heading into this season? That is a good question because we are thinking on that. Um, we are thinking in, in explore all all the all the situations and the possibilities on the on the market. Uh, the club is open and to assess all the options. Um, at the moment, we we are uh, exploring all the the situation that can provide the market and still not uh, the decision. Okay, we'll go to John Staff or BBC. Probably, sir. Um, just one on Miss James. You said you're going to assess it day by day. Is it a hamstring injury? Or yes, hamstring. So is it not that serious if it's kind of a day by day situation? No, no, it's not about a few days. Maybe it's a few weeks. But um, the most important is the evolution. Is the good thing is not a big issue. That maybe, but the most important now is to try to 
work really hard to try to uh, anticipate problems and not to and be sure that when he start to play again, he's mm. fully fit and stronger than was before. That is the most important. Yeah. That's why we are going to assess him day by day and, and try to make the plan every day. Looking at the bigger picture since you've been here, obviously you've brought quite a few players in. Are you now where you want to be? Or are you ahead of where you want to be? Or and how, how I was I was in a good place and now I think we are in a better place. But always I was I was happy. I was uh, I was talking with the sporting director yesterday. We were shocked a little bit. Um, they asked me about oh uh, you really believe that that can be possible? No, when we we talk about the project. I say yes. Maybe you were very optimistic, but I think they do. A, they made very good job. Um, I think the squad is really exciting to see the, the squad that uh, we have today. Now it's about the process, and it's about you know to work really hard to try to find the best you know um, dynamic on the on the team to perform and to win games. Uh, that is our job. But that is a massive challenge. But we are so excited about this. You've also been Liverpool and into a couple of the signings, Casadio and Lavia. Is that is that significant? Does that send a bit of a message out about the intensity? Well, that is about the player decision. It's a player decision that uh, they decide to come to, to come here. Um, I think it's not a, it wasn't a competition. It was a player decision to to join us, and that make us very happy. And they talk very highly about the about our our owners and our sporting director. In, in, what in the way that they work and and try to you know to to earn the the target and and then the player is because the player wanted to come here and and because i think they are feeling something special uh, i hope i hope they are feeling something special outside of the club that they say something uh, good is, is happening here no? yeah. go to step pop i'm Mauricio. Yeah. hello um yesterday you said well, some of your players said that they see you more like a friend than a, a manager. Can you uh, explain? Yesterday. Yeah, some of your players said that yesterday in, in some interviews. Ah, but not me. No, not you. But ah, okay. How do you see that? Like, what they say? Sorry. They said that they see you more like a friend than a manager. Can you talk us through that? that <laughs> I am not happy with this. Eh? <laughs> you need to tell me the names of the. <laughs> <laughs> because it's something Ronnie, more friend than coach. <laughs> now I understand the, the situation. I think uh, be uh, be exigent and and be strong like a, a coach. Um, in the same time, you can be friendly and you you can be very be honest and and be tough. And in the way that I think we can approach today, all the the, the people, the, the young guys, like uh, maybe all these guys can be my, 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 my kids, you know. And I think it's important to understand the psychology of today of the player. Um, the past was different, but now it's, I think we need to learn and, and we need to see the society, how they, they are and, and to apply the, 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 the ideas and the way to approach them. In, in the way that you can get the best from them. Um, no, but in, in some point I, I am happy, in another, in another point disappointed, because I don't know if it's, I am be, best, better friend than better coach, you know. I prefer to be better coach than better friend, no? Yeah. <laughs> no and for just, sure. Just a word on West Ham, what are you expecting from, from West Ham at the weekend? No, I think it's going to be tough. Well, only the beginning. We don't know how they are going to play. Maybe they, they are thinking to change the, the shape, but uh, it's about to you know to, to, to always is going to be tough because all the Premier League games uh, will be dif uh, difficult. They have very good team. Um, they are doing a great job. Last season they left left the, the trophy. They are really confident, and it's for sure we are going to find a very really really tough game. Thank you. You're welcome. Is it Ian? Hi, good to see you back. Thank you. Um, injuries in Cuckoo and James. Yesterday, Mikel Arteta was suggesting the amount of games players are playing towards pre season and looking ahead to the next year and a half, the football calendar, is why you need to have so many players. Is that, is that a reason why players are getting injured? Because they're playing too much? We are in a business that we, we need to understand what is going on in, our, in the business. 
if we want to be here and, and be sitting and pay for players or pay salaries and and uh, every every year improve in, in every single aspect of our life I think it's, it's about to understand the, the situation that, that happened I think I, I'm not going to say nothing again of the idea of Mikel or different different coach uh, but when you are outside of the of the business, um, you should do everything to be involved. And then, when you are involved, sometimes you need to understand that um, the resource and everything that you need uh, to after to provide, you know, to have good squad, good players, or to or to maintain the the structure that um, uh, we need. We need to income, you know, money and tours. Publicity, uh, things like this, uh, make this this business um, every every year improve and improve and improve. Um, I don't know. Every sing, every, every single club is different. I cannot say that uh, Nkunku is injured because of the tour or because of too too many games. Because I I, I don't want to lie, because that was uh, things that ca- happen in football. Um, but I cannot talk for another coach. In that case, Mikel, maybe he has reason to complain. But in my case, I, I have any. I cannot find any reason to complain about that at the moment. You you, you bought a lot of players, and, and obviously <coughs> a lot of players have gone as well. Is the squad you have now the size of the squad, the number of players you've got? Is that what you ideally want? Because you can have too big a squad, you can have too small a squad. I mean. I know for your time at Spurs, you like to relatively small squad. Yes, I think, yes. I think 22, 23 player plus plus three, four, five player uh, using every week through the academy. We were using yesterday um, some young player through the academy and, and I was very surprised, very happy about the performance and the quality. I think it's good, it's good, no, not bigger than than we have now, maybe we can add some player, but you know, um, but not uh, this this number 23, 22, 23 player. I think is perfect, you know, for at the moment. So far, I think it's good, and for the season that we are not going to in, be involved in the in in European competition, I think it's good. But maybe even in if next season we are involved in the European competition, I think maybe it's good also, you know, to to have. Um, the possibility to bring young guys through the academy to be involved and show that they can, you know, uh, play for the first team. And one last quick one: What did you learn from the first weekend back in the Premier League? That is really tough. The the competition, um, the tempo is is amazing because um, we were playing in the Premier League uh, summer series in in America, but it's not the same. Uh, the tempo and the tempo is, is amazing. It's higher than the another competition in, in Europe or in the world. And how the players suffer the the tempo is and and then the time to recovery is completely different. And yes, what I learned that the quality is there and is the most uh, difficult competition in the world. Okay, we'll do two more questions to go Roman and then finish with Simon. Hi Mauricio. Hi. Can you talk to you about exits, um, especially players like Luis Hall. Um, Romelu Lukaku, even Hakim Ziyech. What's the latest with them? Because you are not with the first team. Why? Sorry, no, What's I don't. What's the latest situation with players? No, now? nothing changed at the moment. In, in the moment that we something happened, we will inform. At the, at, at the moment, nothing changed. Okay. Maybe it can change in one hour or in two hours or in, in one day or two. But at the moment, nothing to to inform. Okay. We'll finish with Simon. I was going to ask about Lewis Hall as well, what, yes. the, what the reasoning might be for him to be going, but also, just a quick one, Casado and Lavia, are they ready to make their debut on Sunday? Yes, I think we need to assess, we have one day more to assess them, but it um, was very stressful weeks for Moy and, and Romeo also. Um, uh, it's easy to say, OK, uh, they will be involved Sunday in the, in the game, but I think the most important is to, to, to avoid uh, risks and not to uh, rush with them. If they are ready uh, tomorrow, we will, they will be involved. If not, we are going to wait uh, a few days more than to be fully involved in the on the squad. Okay, we'll end the broadcast section there. Cameras off, please.